Instead of taking the heat for his own baby's disappearance, Matthew Graham takes off running. He's cornered miles away in this garage and dies in a shootout with cops. Has all hope of finding baby Ember died with him? He would not tell the truth for her when he could have. And all of this could have been avoided. Six-month-old Ember is still missing, and police believe Matthew is somehow responsible. Now the question, does anyone know more about the case than they're saying? Since the beginning, our families have had two different agendas. Mine was to find my daughter, their family was to cover Matthew's butt. Baby Ember's mom, Jamie, says Matthew's cousin, Sarah, is hiding the truth. There's an hour time period where Matthew couldn't account for. But Sarah tells us that when Matthew got back from the Happy Valley Station, Ember was with him and was very much alive. Is she lying? Yes, she is. She did not see Ember after that store trip. And Matthew told me himself that he did not take Ember back in there. She's just making an alibi for him that he never had. And then there's the day Matthew ran, suddenly armed with a handgun and lots of cash. I believe it was a plan. I believe that they knew that he was going back to jail and that he was not innocent in this. And they gave him the gun and the money and I think that they told him to run. But remember, that's not what Matthew's mom told us. She said he stole 400 bucks and the pistol from her purse. And then I realized how light my purse was. And I realized that the gun wasn't in there. And I knew right then that he was dead. Because that would give the sheriff's office the justification to kill him. And cousin Sarah is sticking to her story that she saw baby Ember alive with Matthew after she was supposed to have gone missing. I don't know what happened after, but I know I seen her after the store. Now law enforcement doesn't believe you. Absolutely not. They think what you're hallucinating? They or think, you're covering for him? No, I don't think they think I'm they think they just think I'm remembering wrong because I've offered to take a lie detector test. You know, how else do you prove your truth? And they they won't give me one. They just basically called me a liar and let people speculate. Do you think Cousin Sarah and them, though? Oh, yes. Where Absolutely. Ember is? Either they know where Ember is now or they know what happened to her. He had to have told somebody. I believe that he told them. Are you a liar? No. You saw Ember? I saw Ember with my own eyes. You're 100% positive? 100%. You're not covering for Matthew? There's nothing to cover. I mean, what, what purpose would it serve me to say I seen her after the store? Is it possible Ember was kidnapped with her father just a few feet away? Two years after Ember vanished, I went inside Matthew's trailer to see for myself. All right, so we're in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Matthew puts Ember to sleep in the playpen. Yes. Which was right where you're standing. Yes. So and he goes to bed. He goes to bed and the bedroom is back here? Yes, direct. It's a straight shot. When you come into this trailer, could this possibly be a murder scene? I don't think so. I mean, they brought the dogs in, law enforcement, and they collected evidence and they found nothing. They've never found anything. And I don't even think law enforcement believe it happened here. You know, they think it happened in the hour. They're so sad, even though they have nothing. If it happened in the hour, where is she? I mean, maybe he did it, maybe he didn't, but like, why not show the whole truth? Matthew's family has hired private investigator Philip Klein to hunt down the whole truth. I believe, as a lead investigator in this case, that we're looking at, at a death case. Now, is it a homicide? I don't know. Is it an accidental case of uh, uh, maybe the baby wasn't uh, medicated properly and had a seizure? And Matthew freaked out and didn't know what to do? At this stage, Klein isn't drawing conclusions. Yet. And the evidence is going to take me where the evidence is going to take me. The storyline is going to take me where the storyline takes me. Time's on my side as the investigator. I'll figure out what happened. Until then, Ember's family holds out one hope. Do you think Ember is still alive? I'm very aware that it's 
it's possible that she's not. But I, in my heart, try to believe that she is. Jamie also believes in her heart that Matthew's mother and cousin Sarah know what happened to her adorable baby. That's a serious charge. Yes, and they need to come forward and tell the truth for Ember because they can't keep that secret forever. Even if they don't know where she is now, they know what had happened. But there is one thing that every member of the family can agree upon. It's just a matter of time before the truth comes out. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Ember deserves better than this. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.